Hello, current Newburn High School students. My name is Jordan Allsberg. I'm one of the counselors here at Newburn High School. I wanted to make this video for you as a student, but also as a parent, if you're watching this, to kind of go over the registration process uh, for this year so you know what uh, you should be seeing, what you should be getting in your hand, uh, but then also kind of go over, you know, what it looks like so you have a better idea of what's going on uh, here at the building. Uh, so the first thing that's going to be happening is um, students on February 12th in their home room will be receiving a registration sheet. And the registration sheet looks kind of like this. Uh, it has a front side, which has just information for you in general, uh, just different things, talking about um, some graduation requirements, uh, early graduation, some changes in Craven County Schools, uh, that kind of thing. So that's going to be on there. And then on the back side, uh, when we flip that over, it's actually going to be the registration sheet itself. So information on the front, on the back side is really where the meat is at, uh, what we need from the student. Uh, so on. So it's going to have some qualifying questions such as if you're in the AVID program, are you interested in these AP courses? Uh, but it, you're going to see that it doesn't specifically ask you about core classes. And the reason that is, is we as your counselors, uh, we will look and see uh, what you have, what you qualify for. Um, if you qualify for honors, you'll be placed in honors. If not, uh, you know, we, there's just that progression that we as counselors know. So there's really no need for us asking nine million different people about what they need when it's obvious you know we, we kind of know what they need so we'll be focusing on that aspect of it making sure you get uh, exactly what you need for that uh, but your job as a student is to go through those electives and there is a ton a ton of electives go through there and select four top choices that you have and then four alternative choices uh, and that, that's your job. That's what we want to see from you guys. Now, obviously, when we get into the weeds of things, it's like, what is this class? What does that mean? I didn't have a friend who had that class. Uh, so we put a QR code on the front of the page uh, that will take you to um, CTE course descriptions. And they will describe the classes for you so that while you look through that form and you try to fill it out, um, you have some descriptions uh, for that. Now, that registration sheet, students, now hear me, students, the registration sheet goes home and you register with your classes with your parent. And I know what that sounds like. I know we're getting older and I'm all about some self-advocating and all of that, but it's good for your parent to know what you're trying to take in the future, okay? So you're going to register for classes. You're going to sign that sheet. Your parent's going to sign that sheet that you got on February 12th in homeroom and you're going to return it in homeroom on February 14th, because that day we will have homeroom, um, just for this occasion, right? It's a special occasion registration. Uh, so you will return that uh, to your homeroom and turn it in. So what happens after that, February 15th, the counselors will begin meeting with all students in one-on-one -on -one to discuss registration. We will go over your transcript, we'll go over your student growth plan, we will then look at your registration sheet and, and uh, just kind of talk about some different things, get you in those right core classes that you need, uh, and move on from there. So, not super complicated. Now, I will say if you don't have a home room, okay, just like anything, it's your responsibility to keep up with information and that kind of thing. Uh, we will be sending out a blank registration form to all students. So make sure you know you get that form and turn it into your counselor. You can send it to us digitally. You can send it to us uh, or just drop by and drop it off. That's fine. I understand that we have many students uh, that don't have a home room, but it is your responsibility. As always, remember during registration time, if you don't register, I'm sorry, we get to pick your classes, okay? Um, but that's just how the process is going to be this year. I wanted to share that information with you guys, you as students, you as parents, so you know what's happening uh, inside the building. So February 12th, students coming home with a registration form. Please sit down with your student, fill it out. And students, get that back to us on February 14th. And we will be meeting with you uh, throughout, honestly, probably about to the end of the year because there's so many of you guys. Uh, but we will make sure you guys get registered for exactly uh, what you need. Any questions, comments, concerns, parents, you can reach out to your counselors. Information is here. There it is. Uh, and you can just, like I said, reach out to us and we would love to help you. 
Um, thank you guys. Uh, looking forward to another great year next year and uh, just continue to crush it, Bears.